Can you believe it? I've been working on this for a while. Yes, this is the project that I started with um, a couple days ago when I was having a moment. And um, I appreciate you joining me today. Today is day 30. Day 30 is, I can't believe I'm at day 30 and not working. I was hoping to be working a lot sooner, but God had other plans and here I am. Um, I One of the things that I found in the healing process, what I notice in terms of what's going on with my eye, which is the right eye that I had the vitrectomy, um, is that as I'm gaining more sight, meaning the gas bubble is getting smaller and smaller, the light that hits my eye and my eye takes all of that information and sends it to my brain. Well, one of the things that's happening is the light is, is bouncing off of the bubble, creating a like a haze, a refraction of light, and it's like a doubling of the image, image that my eye is seeing. And well, that's kind of wacky. Um, but it's really, really interesting. Um, I liken it to uh, the old tube TVs where you would flick the channel and, you know, it would take a little while for it to uh, tune into the signal and there might be some phasing. We call it like phasing um, that's happening with the image. It's shifting. It's not quite exactly tuned in. And um, that's basically what's happening with my eye. I, and, you know, I still have the other eye, so the two are fighting. They're having a nice little conversation with my brain. Um, but all is well. So, um, like what I was showing you was the earlier um, image where um, I was struggling a little bit, having a moment. And I created this. I started doing a little doodling and adding a little more paint. Uh, again, watercolor is something new for me, but I was having fun with it. Um, today, I was doing some dry painting on uh, a, a dry application onto the paper. So meaning the paper wasn't wet, wet because it was already paint on there. Excuse me. <coughs> And then uh, once I finished that, I started the project that I had made a call to action for everyone to um, suggest which type of healing art I would do. So within mine, I was thinking about uh, the issues that are happening with the unrest in, in our society right now. Uh, the struggles that we have as black and brown people, um, the fact that um, everyone wants change, but how do we bring about the change and that healing? And is it possible? I believe it is possible, um, but I think we really need to focus on exactly what um, is needed to make our uh, country better than it was yesterday. So I started on this piece. I actually started on it a couple days ago, but then I started adding to it. And so it's not finished, but I've been having a little bit of fun with it. So here it is. Now, I feel like this is what we are, what's happening, this splattering that's happening, you know, um, the conflict, but, but, how I did this was I applied the paint and then I started blowing on it because, you know, the breath is so important in life and, and, and that no breath is exactly the same. So I started blowing the paint on the paper and then I added splatters and then I added um, different uh, colors. So I started with blue and um, some of it was the fact that, 
you know, we were talking about the struggles with um, uh, some of the killings that were happening and it, from, um, from law enforcement. And then some of that was just um, the fact that that splatter is, you know, basically I have friends who are officers and um, they chose the profession because it was something I believe that they felt called to do. And with every profession, there's good and bad. And so I'm not looking at um, the police department as being a bad organization. What I'm looking at is the mark that we make on society as people and that we need more light and we need more love. And that's, that's where I'm approaching it. So um, these are imprints of, of, of what's happening with us as a whole and that um, I just want more love. I just want more light in the world and, um, and that people come together. That's my desire. That's my prayer. That's my hope. And, um, and I would just keep thinking about that um, and praying on that. So it, in close, um, I wish for healing for our country, for the world. Um, I wish love, I wish light, and I'm, most of all, I wish joy.